hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yeah, something along those lines. So, this video is basically a status update of a series. So, <laughs> let's just dive right into it. It's going to be in like two parts because I've not finished quite yet. So, to begin with. Um, I did this little video where basically I was wondering why people are not screaming about this book, The Bone Season. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and if you haven't watched that yet, go watch it. It will be clickable wherever clickable things are. Basically, um, we are in London. It's a very vastly different world from the one we know and love um but it still it still has that london ish esque to it although uh, a large part of it is taking place in uh, oxford as well but we follow our main character paige she is <laughs> she's an unnatural she is clairvoyant uh, so basically we have um two kinds of people we have the normal regular people and we have clairvoyant people and the clairvoyant people they have like different levels of clairvoyancy i suppose um and like depending on what your clairvoyant ability is you end up on like different levels um that's a whole different ball game that i'm not gonna go into because honestly it confuses me uh i know it's there but i don't feel like i need to like know the different specific levels to you know get the enjoyment of the story um so it's just an added bonus if you're specifically nerdy for those kinds of things i don't know um anyway bloody love this book i honestly like i said in said video i honestly don't know why i don't hear enough about this book i just I get the like vague little snippets uh, mostly on Instagram where people will post very aesthetic pictures but they don't really talk about said books in the pictures most of the time it's that's the case usually it's just about the pretty picture um, and on booktube as we are now um, I very very rarely hear anything about the bone season I do hear loads of things about Priory of the Orange Tree which is Samantha Shannon's other book <laughs> um, different different bowl game altogether um, but very, very rarely do I even hear anything called the bone season. So it's like, why? Why? It's so bloody good. This video isn't about this book. This video is about the series. So, um, after I read the bone season, I also read the, uh, prequel novella called The Pale Dreamer because it is featured in this book. So, you know, I might as well. I do recommend that if you want to read that prequel, you read that after you've read the bone season you will get much more like enjoyment out of it and actually uh, understand what's happening and who these characters are i wouldn't say it's necessary for you to read the prequel but if you just want some like added bonus there you go uh it doesn't give much of the big story at hand uh but you do get a tiny plot line that um actually makes it make other things make more sense later on but basically uh that prequel is mostly just um well about how Paige got the name the pale dreamer <laughs> basically that's what that is um it's cute uh but yeah not strictly necessary but a good time jumping off right the bat i mean it didn't pick up the next book quite directly after the first book i let it melt i let it simmer i let it you know soak itself into my system <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I kind of want to take this series, I, w I want to take it slow. I want to just like, mm, yeah, I wanted to just, yes, you know what I mean. You, we all have this, 
these series or books in general that we just want to like take our time with and just enjoy and this is just one of those series for me so after a bit of time I picked up the second book which is The Mime Order yes yes I did so the brilliant thing about these books is that the Mime Order picks up directly where the bone season leaves us so we without like spoiling the series too much I'm gonna be as vague as possible here but some some itsy bitsy things will be slightly spoilery but you'll still enjoy it if you haven't read the series and you want to do that after you've seen this video anyway um in the bone season we are just <laughs> we are left in the middle um and it's like we <laughs> where, where are we going where are we going well it picks up right where we left off like exactly where we left off now that is something i thoroughly enjoyed with this series uh so far it's been that way um and you know when with series in general we usually when we have like multiple books when we pick up the next book in the in the series usually it's it's been a bit of a time lapse and you're like trying to piece together what's happened between like book one and book two and you know the aftermath of book one and then what's happened in between that's just like well it's 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 a lot anyway these ones these pick up exactly where the other left off and i love it i love it so much i bloody love it it's oh. anyway <laughs> um and this one we have a thoroughly different kind of plot going on so <laughs> How do I how do I talk about them without spoiling them too much? This one is more of a the plot is more like in the first one, uh, Paige is taken off to Oxford, um, to to this prison camp basically, um, and like her whole point of being there is to escape. That didn't really come out the right way but basically her whole aim is to escape and we are like left in the middle of the escape um which is where we come up Paige needs to like figure out if she can return to normal life which she can't really because she's a fugitive now everyone's looking for her these bad bad people who aren't really people and the the government and everyone's looking for her because she is public enemy number one that's the <laughs> that's the term i guess this one can have a bit of you know of the middle book syndrome because not a whole lot happens but a whole lot does happen um but it's very slow in the getting to the point of it getting to the end of it after that i read and let me see so that i get this correct so i read as an ebook um it's not really a it's not really a novella as such but it is a like pamphlet sort of thing that's mentioned a lot in the bone season series so it's on the merits of a natural a naturalness <laughs> my god um the, the seven orders of clairvoyance uh so this is a yeah a pamphlet it says, it says pamphlet um this is a pamphlet that is written by jackson hall which is pages mime king so basically what the ebook was is this pamphlet and like a bit of a, it's basically just a explanation of the different levels of clairvoyance and um like what kind of types of abilities these different levels have um and so on so it's i wouldn't say <laughs> i definitely wouldn't say it's necessary to read however if you want to know more about the different levels um 
definitely give it a go, but also it's up to you. I've, I've found it a bit draining to read, but it's only like, it's only a couple of pages long. It's like I don't know, 50 pages long or something. It was very quick read. Um, I read it in like, I read it in less than an hour, so it can't have been very long. And then on to book number three, which is kind of why I wanted to do this update now instead of when I finished all of the books. Um, so I haven't, this is the last one I've read so far. So it's The Songwriting, which is book three. Uh, and as book number two, The Mime Order, picked up right after The Bone Season, this one picks up right after The Mime Order. So we're really going with the theme and I'm hoping that book number four is going to do the same because, wow, also amazing. I love that. I bloody love that. I'll be interested to see what book five does. When, whenever that comes out. It's supposedly coming out next year. We'll see. Anyway, now we have a new leader of London. Leader Supreme, I'm gonna call them, because, yeah. Um, but we also have a different problem. So the government, the Scion government, they have this Sun Shield, um, which is basically a way for them to... Um, like sense the clairvoyance so before they've had like um like day guards and night guards and they have a different name but i'm forgetting about it right now basically these people uh are clairvoyant themselves and they've like turned on their clairvoyant c and working for the government instead and turning other clairvoyant people in basically traitors Traitors. Anyway, now the government has this new scanner, as it were, um, so making it a lot harder for, uh, well, <laughs> the clairvoyant people, the, the, the mime order, as is being called now after book two, it's making it a lot harder for them to be, <laughs> well, criminals, because <laughs> basically they are criminals. Um, and so they must find a way to stop this sun shield from being out and about. So, we go on a bit of a trip in this one. So, we follow this little gang, Paige and some others, because we, we're just having Paige's point of view. So far, throughout, it's just been Paige's point of view. I can't say for the rest of the series, because I have not read further than this one yet, but so far, just Paige's point of view. Loving that, by the way. So, Paige, she and a couple of other clairvoyant people, they go on a little adventure. <laughs> they go on a mission, and they go to Manchester, basically to figure out where these, well, scanners, let's call them scanners, where they are being made. And from then on, they go to Edinburgh. Now, here is where I needed to do this update now because when they come to Edinburgh there is some people from London that somehow traveled ahead of time before them so when they arrived at their safe house from coming from Manchester these people are already in Edinburgh blah 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 <laughs> these people are already in Edinburgh waiting for them in the safe house like how? how how did these people know that they were coming from manchester up to edinburgh because that wasn't like specifically decided ahead of time or anything and it's not like them in in manchester could have just told them down in london that you know what we're gonna head up to edinburgh before we get back to london so how this is a plot hole <laughs> and i want to know that's a massive plot hole. And basically this whole book is about the Sun sen Shield. Sun sen Shield. Sun Shield. Yeah. Pfft. These words. Okay, these words. Spin in my head. So yeah, I want to know that plot hole. I've said this like five times now. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, I have heard, though, just before uh, I started filming this video, I was watching some other videos on YouTube, as I do a lot. Um, you know, getting ready, eating my food. I was having breakfast, okay? I 
friends having breakfast and it just so happens they were talking about Samantha Shannon they were talking about Samantha Shannon and the Bone Season uh, series and basically what they said was that so Samantha, Samantha Shannon has been um rewriting the bone season the four books that are currently out and um, basically what they said was that because she's been rewriting them it's been like the author's preferred text so basically she's been like fixing plot holes and stuff so when i eventually get to those we'll see if that plot hole has been fixed because i want to know yeah um <laughs> That was something that was driving me crazy when I was like finishing the book. I was like, I want to know how they knew. Because it's not like they have like mobile phones and just sense texts. And if they did, I mean, there are mobile phones, so, you know, don't get me wrong there. But they don't like have access to them just willy nilly because, well, they, they're trying to keep under the radar. So, yeah. Plot hole needs to know. I need to know. Still very much enjoyed it though, but that was the reason <laughs> I wanted to make this update now. So, what I have left, I'm gonna check because I don't remember. Yes, so, um, I only have book four left, The Mask Fallen, um, but before I pick this one up, and I don't think, no, um, before I pick this one up, I'm gonna go read the Dawn Chorus on uh, ebook, um, because that is the 3.5 novella, um, and it seems to have come up before this one, so I'm gonna go with that. That seems like a good, good idea. So I'm gonna read the Dawn Chorus novella, and then I'm gonna read The Mask Fallen, and, uh, Unless there's something very specific I want to update about, I won't be updating until I finish this one as well. So, I shall see you later on a com very completely different day. Well, hello there. Some time has passed. <laughs> I'll be a joke. Yeah, I'm not that funny. I don't know why I keep going. Um, so, some time has passed and I would like to talk about the Mask Fallen, but also the novella, the 3.5 novella, The Dawn Chorus. So, the previous book, what was the previous book? Previous book, The Song Rising. It's been a couple of weeks, okay, since I did the last thing. I mean, I did just watch back the video of uh, so far. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so, the previous book, The Song Rising, um, leaves off, we're going away, um, and this one picks up right after, the, the momentum is keeping on the thing, what? <laughs> um, yeah, Samantha Shannon has, so far, uh, since this is the last one so far, the next one, book number five, is still in talks but it seems to be coming out in january of 2025 so and before then i will reread the author's preferred text of these series this these series this series the books oh, oh my goodness stop talking stop stop anyway so mask falling picks up right after the song rising uh but the Dawn Chorus, the novella between books three and four, yeah, <laughs> math, um, it kind of, so this one picks up right after book three, but 3.5, the novella, kind of fills in the gaps in the beginning of this one. <laughs> so they're kind of interconnected. It's so weird to explain. I can't explain things, okay? I don't know why I try, but I still keep going, and don't I? Yeah. Anyway, um, basically in the novella The Dawn Chorus, um, we, we see Paige as she has arrived in Paris, which she is in The Mask Falling. 
keep having to call, check the title. Anyway, uh, so they they are in Paris now, but the Dawn Cora is in. She kind of she's um, she's a bit unwell. So in the Dawn Cora, she's like going f through fever dreams as such. Uh, and remembering things from uh, when they were back in the colony in Oxford. Um, so basically, that's what the Dawn Chorus is. And I do think you should probably read that one before you read this one. Because, well, you can read it after as well, but you sort of get the, this, this, the tiny glimpses that you sort of miss. In this one but you don't actually miss them so you could do without them but also they give you tiny little tiny little pieces that are kind of needed for the whole story I'm gonna say the story so far because uh, we don't know what, what happens after this book not yet anyway Samantha Shannon does so Samantha Shannon I'm sorry about me. Um, so, Mask Falling, it's basically, I think Samantha Shannon said it was basically her love letter to Paris after the bone season having been her love letter to London. <laughs> More or less. Um, so we were in Paris and we're meeting up with the Paris, the, I, I, I wanna say the Paris guard, but that's not really what they are. The, the clairvoyant people of, Paris and the different, um, I guess communities is one word to explain it, but it, it's, it's different. Basically you have good people and bad people and th there's a lot going on. And we do meet a character from, uh, from, that was in the, well, prison camp in Oxford. I'm just gonna go with that word because it's the it's the easiest way to say it without actually saying it. Okay, yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah. So basically, we go on a whole journey through Paris. Paige is not quite well from the aftermath of uh, the song Rising. What happens in the end of that? I'm not gonna say because spoiler. But basically, something happens and she's a bit unwell. Yeah. <laughs> so we go through things but this one this book so we we meet some new characters we have some old characters we meet some new characters we go through the motion oh boy do we go through the motion we don't know who to trust anymore that's basically what's happening it's double cross after double cross after double cross who who or where what Ha! Huh. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a, I feel that's a decent reaction to what goes on in this book, and you definitely need to keep your eye on the page to keep track of everyone because when when you get to the end of the book, you kind of realize that it makes a lot of sense, but also as it's happening, you're like, <laughs> WTF. So, to say that I love this series, I don't think there are words to explain how like deeply involved I feel in this series. That's not even the correct term because I'm not actually involved in it, but I feel like I am. I feel like I'm there. I, ooh. <sighs> there are some characters you just want to kind of smack around because they are such little assholes. Yeah. And then they're the ones you just want to give a big massive cuddle to because honestly, they go through the motions and whew, yeah, bloody love it. I bloody love this series and I cannot wait for the next installment. Um, I'm, I'm a bit terrified though because I don't know how many years it's been since. I mean, I could look it up. Let's look it up. Okay, let's look it up. Okay, let's look it up. Let's... I, I can't get into my phone. What the hell? 
Okay, so the bone season. That is not how you spell the bone season, but sure. Bone. Dezon. Okay, but that kind of made it go. Okay, so. The first book. No, this is going to... <laughs> Well, it doesn't help because now it says all the books were published in 2024, so that's not going to help me. Yeah, that that was very unhelpful. Anyway, this bit, it's been a couple of years since the previous book, well, since this one was published. Um, and we're not guessing book five until next year. I'm pretty sure it's January 2025. Um, so far, so good. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not keep getting my hopes up, but I'm pretty sure that's when we're getting it. Anyway, unless there's some other delay. But she is currently writing and editing and stuff. As seen on Instagram, okay? I've seen this on her Instagram, so it has to be true. <laughs> that's how I live my life. <laughs> anyway, I think sometime this fall, like probably before the end of the year, uh, or possibly in the beginning of next year I will read uh, the author's preferred text as it were um, so not the paperbacks but the the fancy new hardbacks that will just just come out they've just come out um, anyway so I'm gonna like we read the story but the author's preferred text and I'm hoping it's what I've heard that it's the plot holes have been fixed. I mean, I've only really noticed one plot hole, so there's that. Um, uh, other plot holes I have not paid attention to apparently, but I've only like discovered one, and it was one that made me do this video. So <laughs> you will really know if you've come this far. So yeah. End of the year, beginning of next year, I'm going to reread the story, read the preferred text, get back in into the game because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have read uh, a lot more books until then. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go through all that before I pick up book five, and then we have book five. Well, next year we'll have book five, but then we don't know when like book six is coming out because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a seven book series. Or something like that. There's a couple more books coming. But I also know there's been... I mean, I could look at it in this one, couldn't I? Hang on, let's see when this one was published. It's just a lot easier to look online. So, this edition published in 2022. Let's see, Mask Falling published 21. Donker is 20. This edition, Mask Falling... So 21, 22, so it's been like three, four years. Well, it, it, it's been like three years uh, since we got this one. Uh, and I don't know how long, it, I think it's like, yeah, I don't know. Let's not get into it. Anyway, it's been like three years since this one. And then we're getting book five. Yeah, we're getting book five next year. But then we won't know how long we have to wait for the, the next one. And that's, it's kind of... Mm, I mean, it's going to be at least a year, but will it be more? I don't know. What? These are some weird cheekbones. I don't like it. It's weird. Anyway, yeah, it's it's going to be a ride, I feel, this whole series. And I'm curious to see if I'm still going to love it as much as I do now when it's actually finished it's gonna be a long wait i just know that it's gonna be at least three years oh, but <laughs> assuming we get a book a year oh dear anyway so this has been my like series update this is mostly i'm not gonna lie this video is mostly for me to look back on and check when I'm rereading and, you know, going into the new ones. So I just can refresh my memory from that. <laughs> so this is a very selfish video. Because what video is not selfish? Let's be honest. 
we all want to gain something from every video we do, don't we? I'm getting into different, I'm getting way off topic. Anyway, so <laughs> this has been a serious update. It's been a very serious, serious update. I'm joking, it's not very serious. So yeah, if you've made it this far, I should ask you to come in something special, but honestly, I don't know. Oh, let's, um, do they have beads? Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know I don't use all the emotes. Um, yes, so if you've made it this far, comment a little bee, a little bumblebee in the comments. Because you're a real one. Yeah. Um, you're a real one and you've made it this far and I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care, bye-bye and also don't forget to comment a bee.